All right, everybody, this is gonna be an unboxing and slight tutorial of how to set the American Hunter XDE digital feeder kit, right? I don't know which side is the actual front. I don't know, probably this one. This one kind of looks like the front of the box. So yeah, this is it. American Hunter XDE digital feeder kit. Uh, it says versatile twist lock or flat mount options, durable metal spin plate, accessory rail mount, industrial grade motor, solar panel port. Uh, solar panel is separate if you want that option. Uh, the digital timer or new digital timer it says, large LCD display, quick sets for easy setup. That's gonna be important later. Two pre-configured settings. That's part of the quick sets. Uh, 16 custom time settings, one to 30 second run time, set day of the week, reverse polarity protection. Basically, you can't put the battery in backwards. It'll be okay no matter how you put it in. Uh, and looks like jam protection. So basically, if the metal disc up top senses that it's jammed, it'll try to reverse and go three different times before it'll give up, I guess. And then it'll give you an error on the screen. I think it's triple F or something like that. Um, but basically, it will attempt to unjam itself, um, which is kind of cool. I've not seen that happen yet, um, but maybe one day I will. All right, let's unbox it. I've already uh, cut the tape here before I realized I wanted to do an unboxing of it. Um, nothing else on the outside to really read about the descriptions. Pretty simple. No more box needed here, I don't think. Comes in big plastic piece. Get rid of that. You see all four sides are protected. Everything's inside of this casing here. And I'll show you how to take it off in a second. Uh, big metal disc up top. This is the part, this is the business end. Connects to whatever feeder that you want to connect it to. With... Uh, Included hardware here. We've got a few screws uh, a couple different types of screws uh, The silver ones are for if it's not a pre-drilled um, Feeder you can use those to kind of make it happen <laughs> The black ones are for pre-drilled or pre-designed feeder by American Hunter um, And then some washers some nuts, etc. All right, good deal uh, You can warrant you can Register for your warranty on this device fill this information out send it back in All right all that aside Let's get to the instructions here now I wanted to actually do a video of this because it it shamefully took me a couple of weeks to figure this out I'm not even gonna lie. I like to think I'm tech savvy um, But this bad boy I forever thought my first one was broken. I was like this doesn't work. It's broken American hunter is a piece of junk um, which I do wish they explained things better in here. It would have made it a lot easier. Uh, and I wish it also was a little more user friendly and you'll see what I mean later, later on. But unless you like do trial and error, it takes a little while to figure out how to set these things, but I'll go over that. All right, so you get the XDE kit and then six volt lantern battery, which is not included. You do have to purchase that, and I happen to have one here by uh, Game Winner. Uh, another tip here: uh, you need to, you don't have to get the rechargeables, but I do advise it just because rechargeables have this extra section here for recharging um, that helps it fit specifically into uh, the bottom box design here. Uh, if you don't have that, which on my first battery that I put in, I didn't. So it, it's only like this size without this portion. So when you go to put it in there, it's really loose and you gotta like prop a stick up behind it or something. And I'll show you once we open this bad boy up. Uh, first thing though is spin plate adjustment. Um, this is really simple. So basically this spin plate right here can adjust height wise. So if you want it to be closer to the food and not have as much come out, or if you want more to come out as it spins, uh, you can lower it simply by using uh, a screwdriver. Basic, I think, uh, yep, just basic, regular 
four-sided screwdriver and uh, put it on that black screw there, loosen it, it goes up and down, and then tighten it to the desired height that you want it. Uh, I think how it comes in the box is pretty normal. It's worked just fine for me as far as uh, the mount that distributes out of it. But if you've got larger things that come down, come out of here, um, depending on what you're feeding, you may want to lower it or shorten it. You know, you be the judge and may take trial and error. All right, let's open it up and uh, get to putting the battery in and setting it up. I'm gonna unscrew the bottom here. All right, bottom comes straight off. There's nothing inside, just a plain cover. And then this is the inner workings, the brains of the operation right here. All right, let's go ahead and install the battery back here. Like I said, uh, it's got reverse polarity protection. So that's what all of those dots are in the inside. So the middle one is always gonna be your negative um, on these batteries here, or at least all the ones that I've purchased and seen. So you, you really can't get it wrong. You set it in there, um, and whichever side it lands on, the positive is gonna land on the other connection point and it's gonna function. Now, I don't have one of the smaller batteries, the non-rechargeable six volts to show you, but like I said, if you don't buy a rechargeable six volt and have this extra space right here, you're just gonna be lacking about half an inch or so. And I had to stick a twig and a stick down in right here to wedge those springs up against there to make a good connection uh, the very first time I used it. So that's just uh, to be advised. All right, so let's get to setting this thing. All right, let's adjust the camera here. Okay, first let's orient you um, to this here. So this is going to be the LCD display. Um, up here you have your solar panel connection. It's actually up under this rubber button. You know, pull this button off and deep down in there is going to be a little circular connection. And it looks like it fits most solar panel plugs um, that come from probably American Hunter, um, XME, uh, Game Winner, those those all of those different ones, uh, you'll probably be fine with whatever the connection comes with on it. I've not used one yet. Uh, maybe I will try this season and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so left button's your program button. You have an up and down button. And then the right is the enter slash test button. And then the this is your reset button. You press it in and it'll reset everything um, completely. Okay, first thing I want to go over, which is what took me weeks to figure out, is quick sets. So on the device in the upper right hand corner here, you will see quick set one. If you hit the up button, goes to quick set two, hit the up button again, goes to custom. All right. Now, what the heck does that mean? Again, took me weeks to figure it out because of trial and error because it does not really explain it in here. But here's what it means. Whatever you see in the upper right hand corner, is what set of um, instructions or what program this will run on. So quick set one, quick set two, or custom, right? It's, it's not and, it's an or, right? So it doesn't do both quick set one and quick set two and a custom setting. It's either quick set one or quick set two function or whatever custom setting you inputted. And we'll go over in a second how to do the customs, but first let me describe what the quick sets are. So quick set one, it means that if this upper right hand corner says quick set one, like that, that means at both 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. on every day of the week, it will go off for three seconds of rotation, right? So if you're out there real quick and you're like, I just want it to go off 6.30 a.m., 6.30 p.m., you put it quick set one and you walk away and that's what it's going to do three seconds um, at each time quick set two if you're like oh i want it to spin for five seconds distribute a little more corn or whatever you got up in there 
you go hit this, you walk away. That means it's going to do the same times every day of the week for five seconds. That's the only difference. Three seconds and five seconds, 6.30 and 6.30. And it's as easy as that as far as the quick sets go. Now, whatever, whichever you have it set on is all it's gonna do. If you want a different time, you have to have custom selected and then walk away. Once custom is selected and you walk away from it, lock it up, then the custom times that you're about to put in is what it will function and do, all right? So, hopefully that's clear as mud to everybody. It took me trial and error to figure that out, like I said, because it does not describe that in here anywhere. I thought that, oh, it did quick set one unless I cut it off and it did quick set two, or I could, I had the quick set options in here and I could set a one and two time. That's not how it works, right? So quick set one, if you go up to quick set one and then you hit the left button, it will then take you and show you the times that it has. And we're in quick set one, even though it's got a two, that's the second time it will go off, right? For three seconds. And for forever, I thought my setter, I thought my feeder was broken because I kept hitting this right button and I could not change anything. Um, sorry, go back into quick set two here. So custom quick set one, hit the left button. You see the time and I thought, I hit this right button like the instruction said and I should be able to change this. You can't. You just absolutely can't. Quick set one and quick set two, they cannot be changed for anything. Okay, quick set one and quick set two, toggle them with the up and down button, can't change them. Now, if you want to change times on here, you can have from uh, how many custom times? I think two to 16 different custom times in here. So, how you do that is, all right, so actually before we set custom times, let's go ahead and set the actual clock on here. Um, it's very, very simple. I figured that out without any instructions. So you hit this, it says current time. You hit it again, it says, oh, you wanna set the current time. Okay, cool. Uh, for the sake of this video and make it quick, let's make it 104, that works. And, um, Yep, we'll say that it's a, a Sunday. That's fine, even though it's a Wednesday. <laughs> All right, so now I want to, so the test, so if that's the test um, duration. So if you want to test out the functionality or test out the feeder, you press and hold this button. Um, this is the length of test time that you will have uh, set. That's how long it'll go off during the test and once you press and hold this button. Too easy. Let's do that real quick. Um, I'll set it for three seconds just to show you guys. Um, set that. Hit the back arrow to go back to this. All right, press and hold the right button. All right, you'll get a countdown. Gives yourself plenty of time to walk away in five seconds, but it will go off. Seconds. All right, simple enough. All right, now that we have set a time, we can now go in and set our custom time. So again, toggle the switches here, go to when it says custom up top. Once it says custom up top, you hit program. I want to program custom. It says off. You're in custom one, it says off. You're going to hit the right button once it's blinking it then will toggle from off to what day of the week you want to have it function sunday monday if you ever want to turn any of the customs off you just go backwards to the off all right but let's say i want this to go off every day of the week you'd go all the way through saturday until all of the days of the week are illuminated and then it will function throughout the whole week. That is what I want, so I'll hit enter. And I want it to go off, for example here, one minute and 
forgot what time was on here. We'll go to six minutes, I guess. We'll say seven, just for the heck of it. AM, um, and that's gonna be my custom one time, and I want it to go off for three seconds. And that's that. So, oh, looks like uh, I might have, all right, so it's 107 right now. So I want to reset this to 108 so you guys can see it in action. Three seconds, back to the timer. All right, I'll do some movie magic and speed this up so that you guys don't have to wait for forever um, and watch this go off at 108. All right, there you have it. It exercised uh, the 108 custom setting that I put it on, and because I had it on custom, it did it. Here's where it kind of gets tricky. So if I was setting this and I accidentally put it on quick set one and walked away, it is not going to do my custom settings. Again, it will do the quick set one settings for 6.30 a.m., 6.30 p.m., all days of the week for three seconds, right? So that's one thing that I thought it was going to do all three of these. I, I, I didn't know. The, the instructions don't really explain that very well. Um, so I'm doing that for you guys so that you know and will have an easier time with setting it up once and being done with it, right? Uh, so if you want an example of that, uh, let's see. I'm in custom. I'm going to go hit the program. I want to program this for 110. All right, for three seconds. All right, so it is programmed for 110, but that's because I have it on custom. If I put it on quick set one and walk away, this timer will now go to 110 and this will not function. Movie magic time. There you have it. The timer went to 110 because it was not on custom, it did not function. So technically this will, again, only go off at 6.30 and 6.30. So go back to, oh, sorry. Go back to custom. And now if I leave it alone, it will function at the desired time. So let's say I want to set multiple times. Too easy. You hit the program button. Once you're on custom, hit the program button. I'm on custom one. All right, I've set that. Let's say I want to set another one. You hit the up button. It's going to say custom two is off. Well, let's fix that. I want to enter custom two and change it from off to uh, we'll say Sunday and I want custom two to be at 1.12 a.m. I want it to go off for three seconds just for demonstration. And then I'm gonna exit out of here, make sure that's on custom, leave it alone. Now, once again, you can do up to 16 of those. So that's actually the route I'm going to start going is I'm going to just simply set custom times from now on um, unless I genuinely don't care what time it goes off and I'm good with 6.30, 6.30. But um, I actually do care what time it goes off. I prefer, because uh, I kind of have on camera what time they're there and what time they're not there. And I want the device to go off when they're not there. That way it will reduce um, them getting startled and I'm not getting good pictures on my camera from them. So and there you have it. Custom setting number two just flashed up there because it hit 112 and it dispensed for three seconds. All right, I believe, um, oh no, one last thing. Uh, when you do go to change out this rechargeable battery um, or even the regular battery, that you put in here. When you go to take it out, even for a second, this kind of aggravates me, it shuts off, right? 
and you're like, oh, okay, let me put this other one back in, you will have to completely reset everything all over again. American Hunter, if you're watching this, that is a huge pain. Please put just a little, I don't know, one of those 2025 batteries in the corner as like a, as like a change battery timer to keep setting so I can get in and out and not have to sit here and plug in times again. That would be awesome, but yeah, that is what it is. Uh, I think I've covered everything. That's gonna be beneficial for everybody. Um, if you got any other comments, questions, if you guys got any pro tips on this, I fully welcome you to comment down below and help other hunters out. That's all I'm trying to do is give everybody a leg up on the weeks of learning lessons on this thing that I had to do. Um, hope this helps everybody. If it did, uh, leave me a like, a comment, make sure to subscribe, uh, and I will be putting out more videos like this uh, soon. All right, happy hunting, happy scouting. Get out there, get it done. Boom, baby, out.